In this video, I want to talk about how to prepare your product images for the web. I don't want to go into a lot of detail here, and it's not what the course is about, but it is worth mentioning because it's an important issue. For e-commerce sites, you want to have lots of images, right? Products, catalog pages, it's all crucial to the sales process. Images sell. But if those images are too large in size, it's going to slow down your site and you're going to use more server space than you need to. So properly preparing your images before uploading is absolutely crucial on e-commerce. There are a couple of ways to handle this. You could reduce the image size yourself using an image editor, or you can use a plugin that does it during the upload process to WordPress. Let's look at doing it yourself first of all. Now, there are two primary ways we can mean image size when we're talking about reducing them. The first is the amount of screen space the image occupies. Or we might be talking about the amount of data in its file. I'm going to refer to these as dimension size and file size. And we have to work with both in order to keep the image fast loading. Dimension size, first of all. An image coming out of a typical camera these days, even the most basic camera, is going to be about 4 megapixels. It only takes about 1,000 pixels to basically fill a computer screen. So for most purposes, including pop-ups that show a full-size product view, for example, 800 pixels is plenty, 800 pixels wide on the longest side. Using an image editor, simple free programs like Irfan View for Windows, or the iPhoto program on your Mac, all you have to do is use the resize function to reduce the longest side to 800 pixels. It automatically calculates the other side based on that. Let's look at file size now. I'm going to assume here you're using JPEG. That's the only format you should be using for photos. It's the most efficient file format, not PNG, not GIFs or BMPs, but JPEGs. When you save images that way, you're going to be offered the option of compressing the file. But you have to be careful. The more you compress, the lower the quality of the image, and sometimes they can look awful. So you've got to compromise between quality and size. Typically, you're going to want a compression level somewhere around 7 or 70. Depends how the scale is displayed on your program. When you do that, you're going to get for an image with dimensions around 800 pixels on the longest side, you should get a file size of between 50K and 100K roughly. This is a vast difference from the four megabytes or more that's coming out of your camera. So nothing larger than 100K. If you've got that bigger than 100K, you're wasting space. If you're not familiar with using an image editor and doing things yourself this way, and you don't need to personally control the quality of the image reduction, for example, or perhaps someone else is uploading the images and you don't want to worry about how large the images are that they're uploading, there are plugins for WordPress which will automatically adjust the file size during the upload process. So, for example, there's Imsanity, Image Pro, Resize Image After Upload, and WP Smush It. These are a couple of examples. If you've already uploaded images, by the way, that are too big, some of these plugins can go back through your media library and shrink the size there. For example, WP Smush It and Imsanity. One thing to keep in mind with WP Smush It, it uses an external service, one from Yahoo as a matter of fact, to do the reduction. And if that server is busy, it could slow things down. The other plugins that we talked about there, they use the internal server functions in PHP and WordPress to do the image reduction. So a couple things to think about there. Whatever you do, whether you do it yourself or use a plugin, the key thing to remember is keep your image size low when you're uploading photos to make sure that your site doesn't load slowly.